Lots of mugginess today in Tallahassee. Good evening, everybody. I'm student meteorologist Tyler Allender. Temperatures quite a bit above average, especially morning low, 64 degrees. The afternoon high was 83 degrees, but we do have some cooler weather down the road before some rain, and we'll talk about that over the next few minutes. Currently out there, 79 degrees at the 7 o'clock hour. Dew point is at 60 degrees with a south-southeasterly wind at about 8 miles per hour. In other words, it's pretty humid this evening. And currently, temperatures pretty much agreeing region-wide in the mid to upper 70s, even still low 80s over in Bainbridge, 81 degrees, 84, the warm spot still cooking in Valdosta at this hour. So again, with those southerly winds, that's pumping in plenty of moisture, just enough to make it feel a little sticky, more like June than April at this hour. And again, that's giving us these muggy dew points, 70 degrees in Carabell, 64 in Monticello. And this is just a sign of some of the rain that's coming our way tomorrow. You can see that as we zero in on the southeast, this line of fairly strong showers and thunderstorms uh, knocking on the Tennessee River Valley doorstep. And certainly the Mississippi River Valley, you can see these strong storms, even some uh, tornadoes associated with them. As this line continues to move toward the east, it'll be much weaker tomorrow. And we'll see mainly just some heavy rain. Could see a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain and uh, some occasional embedded thunderstorms as well. And what will that do once the cold front pass drops the temperatures this weekend? You can see highs near 70 and lows even dipping into the 40s on Sunday morning before we start to warm up again next week. How does that happen? Well, it's because of this cold front again with that line of storms that's moving through the Mississippi Valley, producing some severe thunderstorms. It'll be windy here tomorrow morning, but dry. And then the showers and thunderstorms come later in the day as this cold front progresses to the east. But even though the front will pass tomorrow afternoon, we're still going to see some lingering moisture behind it all the way through Saturday morning. Finally, Saturday afternoon, high pressure comes in and dry air moves in. So the second half of your weekend looks best for those outdoor activities. But here's what we can expect for the next 36 hours. Warm and dry tonight. Showers by lunchtime. Set your clocks to it. And then by Saturday morning, things will begin to clear out across the region. But for tonight, again, pretty nice and dry. Mostly cloudy, though, muggy, sticky. How many times do I have to say it? But that's just what's going to be happening. Then tomorrow, windy and warm, high temperature near 81. We'll see the showers and thunderstorms come in after lunch tomorrow and then again tomorrow evening into early Saturday. And you can see that here on the seven-day forecast. It cools off. We'll see the rain early in the day Saturday. Dries out Sunday. Looks good for outdoor activities. And then we bring in the warmth and bring back the hit or miss showers going into next work week.